How to apply the linear gradient color effect for the screen background, for the app bar, for buttons and also for texts. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's start by creating a gradient background color, therefore we create a container widget and here inside you can supply a box decoration with a linear gradient. And for the gradient you can define a list of colors. And with this we have a gradient from the left side to the right side, whereas we have first of all the yellow color and then the red color on the right side. In case you set for this container a child widget, then the gradient effect will be only applied to the size of our child widget. Simply wrap a center widget around so that it is applied again to the whole screen. Next, you can change the alignment of these colors within your linear gradient by defining a begin and end alignment. And with this, our gradient starts at the top center location and ends at the bottom center location. To apply a gradient to your app bar, you simply define the flexible space property with the container and the linear gradient that we have defined before. And with this, our app bar has here a linear gradient with the colors purple and red. To apply a gradient to your button, which we have here on the right side, you want to simply deactivate first of all the colors of your button, the primary and the shadow color. And secondly, you can wrap around your elevated button a container with some decoration. And then we also define here inside our linear gradient. And with this, this button has a linear gradient with the colors that we have defined here. Before we have deactivated from our elevated button the shadow colors and the elevation. And therefore we want to wrap here around our button a material widget and here you can then basically set again the elevation of your button. And with this we have again some shadow around our button. To apply a gradient to the text that we have here on the right side, you simply want to wrap it inside of a shader mask widget and here within your shader callback you create then a linear gradient and on this linear gradient you call then the method create shader and with this the text has a gradient with the colors that we have defined here inside. And finally you can set for your colors some stops which is a list of values whereas each value ranges from 0 to 1. With the stops, we are defining how much fraction each of our colors is taking up from the gradient. 30% is reserved for the yellow color. And secondly, you define another value between 0 and 1. And with this, we have from 50% to 100% only the red color. And from 30 to 50%, we have then a gradient between the yellow and red color. If you add here another color, then you also need to add here another stop because the length of our colors needs to match with the length of our stops. If the length of the stops and the length of the colors is not matching, then you get a white screen and you also get here an error inside of the console. And finally, we want to set for our blue color also a valid number between 0 and 1. And with this, we have from 80% to 100% the color blue and from 50 to 80% we have a gradient between the red and blue color. One more important thing for your gradient background color, if you have a text field and you open it up, then the gradient color will simply move and this is what we want to fix. To fix this, we want to remove from our scaffold body property the linear gradient that we have created before and instead we want to wrap it around our scaffold. So now we have wrapped our container with the linear gradient around our scaffold widget and with this you have here a white screen. To fix the white screen you simply go to your scaffold and here you need to set the background color to transparent. And with this our gradient is working again and is applied to our scaffold. And secondly if I open now this text field then you see that our gradient is not moving anymore. And by the way, if you want to get here the whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.